Hello and good morning. So this is my first YouTube video ever. Um, my name's King Miles. Uh, I obviously play RuneScape or else you wouldn't be watching. Uh, welcome to my first ever bank video. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour around of what my account is, uh, why I'm making this channel, what my intentions are, and hopefully what the kind of content I can bring you is. Um, so firstly, let's just have a look at my stats. Um, I am a mid-level player, um, working my way towards max. Um, had this account a little while, so you might find it quite funny actually how long I've had this account. But anyway, so uh, combat level, my combat level is 187. Still haven't quite got used to the uh, EOC combat level system thing. Um, 92 attack, 90 strength, 93 defense, uh, 94 hit points, 87 range, don't laugh too hard, uh, 92 prayer, 91 magic, and in old money, 83 summoning. Um, yeah, onto my skills, and I have 90 rune crafting for ports, uh, we'll get onto that later, that was a bit of a grind, uh, 71 construction, that's my my lowest skill along with Hunter. 90 Dunge, uh, need to finish that off to 99 soon. 79 Agility, uh, there's a story in the Agility which I'm sure I'll get onto later. Uh, 81 Herb, 90 Thief, again for ports. Uh, 79 Craft, 99 Fletch, that was my second 99. 89 Slayer, uh, 71 Hunter again as I said. 78 Mine, 76 Smith, uh, 81 fish, 99 cooking, that was my first uh, 99, uh, 99 fire making, which was my ooh, fourth, <laughs> uh, 85 wood cutting, 99 farming, which is my third, bit of a fail on that one, I'll tell you, oh, that's my phone, don't worry, uh, yeah, and as I said, uh, 83 summoning, so my total level is 2178, uh, obviously, going to be working my way towards max so that's something that I can hope to kind of show you guys on the on the way uh, I'm not going to be doing a sort of massive from scratch or road to max sort of thing uh, I'll you know I'll give you updates on my achievements when I get them but it's not going to be uh, so so panned out like that um, <clears throat> sorry I had a nice little cough there so uh, yeah on to my intentions really um, other than what I've said uh, my short-term goals um, are basically to kind of max out combat, uh, attack strength and defense and hit points, obviously, along the way to uh, 99 Slayer. Um, I'm not going to go straight for 99 Slayer uh, because, to be perfectly honest, I find Slayer a little bit of a grind at times. Um, I recently did, uh, here you go, if you look up on my XP tracker, 1.2 mil um, in you know, a few days, and that I was pretty sick of Slayer after it. I'm not one of these people who can just sit there and absolutely grind a skill. Um, well, again, that's not technically true. I mean, some skills I can, like fire making, cooking, uh, fletching, you know, I just did them all the way until I got them. But they're so repetitive, uh, you know, that doing them is not a problem. You just... Keep banking, keep clicking, it's fine. Same with, you know, other Bibles like crafting is the same, I suppose. Um, although, well, we'll get onto my bank. And you'll see why I haven't done that yet. Um, and, yeah, I recently got 92 prayer. I mean, that wasn't too bad. I kind of got bored of burying bones. But, again, I could probably go all the way to 99 uh, if I had it banked. But things like Slayer, certainly, I, I sort of have to do in patches. So my immediate goal is 90 Slayer anyway for ports and as you can see I am 213k from level which really I suppose I could probably get that today um, but then after that my next goal will be as you can see in the little target level thing there um, 95 Slayer um, so I'm 3.6 mil away from that um, and the reason I want that is for Ganodomic Beasts basically because um, I'm pretty sure there's still a, a very good source of money. Um, and I need quite a bit of that for my Bibles, really. Um, so, yeah, short-term goals, kind of a lot of Slayer, hopefully get my combat, all well, my three, four main combat skills up. 
Uh, I've been doing quite a bit of range recently, which may make you laugh given that my range is really bad. But um, I was 80 ranged, and to be honest, I think most of that was from cannoning pre-EOC. I think I went from about 60 to 80 range just on cannon uh, from Slayer. So yeah, I've got my range up quite recently to 87, and again, relatively recently, um, I had a big stretch at Dagonoff, some um, Waterbirth Islands, um, for my magic, which which went up from about 80 to 91 as well, because I was just uh getting charms which i'll show you in a sec when we do the bank um yeah another sort of short-termish goal is to use up all the charms that i have for summoning um now uh I've done some calculations with a good friend of mine um little shout out to wales uh lee <laughs> thanks for that mate um yeah I did some calculations with lee and i think or we think that i've got 91 banked and not far away from 92 so Excuse me for a drink. Mm. I love that water in the morning. Yeah, so I think I've got 91, 92 banked, which is which is great. Um, I suppose, yeah, as another short-term goal is to use that up. And then, um, generally, I don't have any immediate aspirations to get anything straight to 99. I mean, <coughs> excuse me again, I could quite easily... Uh, do a bit of pyramid plunder and get that to 99 quite quickly, maybe in a few days. Um, 7.3 mil at pyramid plunder is, no, it's not a lot of XP. Um, you know, similarly, dungeoneering, if I had the, the want to get it up there, I probably could quite quickly. Uh, but I'm not, you know, I'm not mad on sort of getting my 99s immediately. There are other things that I want to focus on, and they are mainly. Um, making quite a lot of money for buyables um like i was saying to you earlier kind of crafting you know there's a good uh good few levels in there i can get but obviously it's it's money um the same with things like construction um prayer i you know i'm i'm a bit further on with prayer than certainly than i am with some of the other buyables and herb law although herb law at the moment um i am getting up almost solely by using war bands uh if anybody doesn't know what that is for any reason, uh, it's a it's a new distraction and diversion, or newish. Uh, you basically you run into the wilderness, loot some tents, and get a stack ton of XP. So if you don't know what it is, uh, perhaps I will vaguely do a guide on it at some point. But go look it up. It's really really good XP. You can do it three times a day, and it's yeah, it's been getting me quite a lot of herblore um, XP. So look into that if you don't know what it is. Anyway, so onto my bank. Um, just talked about stats, uh, goals, that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't have a particularly rich bank by any stretch of the imagination. Um, 30 mil on the cash pile, bought a load of stuff recently. I did get up to about 30 or 40 mil, but um, yeah, I bought some items quite recently. Um, I am a bit of a neat freak in the old bank, uh, so if you don't like people with neat banks, I'm probably not the sort of person you want to watch. Uh, so runes up the top. Uh, uh, sometimes you might see me with a stack ton of fire runes, like three, four, five, six hundred k. Uh, I'll tell you why later. Nothing particularly out of the ordinary there. Little steam battle stuff. I never know what that what it what that is. Uh, since the graphical rework a while ago, I have no idea what any of the stars look like. Uh, a few tokens. Probably should use those at some point. Level a hard crew scroll. Uh, I keep a few items here that I use from time to time, so Gladwell's Amulet, obviously for Slayer. Doing the Fire Giants, uh, Cooking Gauntlets, just if I'm trying not to be uh, waiting at Dungeoneering for certain people. No uh, no name drops needed, nice, another shout out there. Um, then Dungeoneering, ring, uh, some items I don't really understand. <laughs> Anybody wants to tell me what they do, that'd be great. Uh, Mask of the Abyss, just use that for teleports uh, into Kyrodel's dungeon, so a few little useless things there. Uh, so my main tab, uh, or main combat tab and teleport tab, uh, Scythe, we'll come back to that. Uh, Drain and Sauce, I still haven't done the quest um, that allows you to use the Fairy Rings Out one, which is quite sad so yeah have a good old laugh at me for that one a uh, few rock tails used quite a lot of those recently on qbd <laughs> that's another story uh sharks were all i just generally tend to keep the ones that i either catch or buy or use quite a lot of um 
few rings of li uh, wealth, not life, three rings of wealth, I use those to teleport to G all the time, uh, blah, 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 I won't bore you with those. Teleports, uh, arrows, yeah, a few bits of Slayer stuff. A couple of fire capes, um, quite pleased I got those. Took me long enough. <laughs> got the first one uh, pre-EOC and then the second one post. A uh, couple of defenders, they're really, really useless now. Uh, accumulators, a few weapons. Uh, Arcane Stream, got that. That was nice, yeah. Side Omen Sword, bought that one as about five or six mil. Good fight, money. Uh, same with the Zaramorkian Spear. Uh, Void, that seems to be pretty useless now due to this lovely update uh, that Jagex has done uh, and nerfed seemingly the whole game. Um, Samurai and Arrow, I guess that's for God Wars, full Slayer Helm. What else have I got here of any interest? A uh, bit of Andos in there, got my Chaotix Claws, they're the only ones I have. <clears throat> uh, pre this, this recent update for defense and hit chance, I was using that for virtually every Slayer task. Although I don't know if that's gonna be possible now because Apparently you need to use weaknesses or you don't hit anything. Um, subjugation, I bought that quite recently for Mage uh, because I was using uh, Void or whatever, but, um, well, it died and it doesn't really work. A um, couple of bits of armor there. I'll explain why they're at the bottom. Yeah, I bought the armor helm, chest, uh, gloves. Probably should buy the rest of the bits. Uh, then I got my demon horn necklace and bone crusher, which I just use for prayer a lot. Uh, a couple of auras, vampirism, greater reverence. Yeah. Uh, next tab I have <clears throat> is my kind of. It's, I mean, it looks like a farming tab. Uh, it's sort of what I use as my active skilling tab. Um, it was my farming tab for a very long time, but obviously don't do farming so much now. Um, so it's got all these seeds that I. Uh, miscalculated hugely so I ended up with 42 calculates calquat and uh, a load of maples probably plant those for XP at some point um, you know a few bits of potions and whatnot seeds here uh, that's for thieving <laughs> you know I'll use the bow so you don't attack people trick uh, a few things uh, bits that I'm farming still so I still farm coconuts snapdragons uh, sunflowers occasionally cactus spines when I remember but not very often uh, few auras here. Call of the Sea for fishing. Uh, great five finger discount. Thief, obviously. Sure footed. Can't remember why I bought that. Something to do with agility. Uh, Rune pick. Uh, teleport for Ferro Scepter. Teleports to Pyramid Plunder. Uh, axe for cutting wood. Blah, blah, blah. Polypore spores. So I actually, as a daily, kind of make um, polypore staffs uh, because the margins on them can be uh quite good um i'll show you that later on uh yeah like to file that's my sort of farming stuff and then jack of trades i tend to do that on a farm run each day um might make a video on that because it's quite a nice way the way i do it if i do say so myself uh and some of you might find it useful just to pop that into a farm run um and then my captain's log for ports i'll do a whole separate video on that at some point this is my uh piece of shit tab <laughs> so I just put everything that I don't want and don't know if I can get rid of in here I'm sure there are tons of stuff and quests and bullshit like that that I really don't need but I kind of keep it I have my little Queen's Guard crap yeah Solomon Fortune bullshit um, yeah load of rubbish Charms. So these are the charms I have saved up. Uh, not huge amounts, but as I say, for me, enough to go from 84 summoning to 91. 6k crims, 4k golds, 500 blues, 3k greens. Uh, load of empty pouches. Need to start stocking up on these. And this, these are some of the ones that I do use more frequently. Uh, summoning summons, that is, familiars. Uh, terror bird. I remember when t all I had was a terror bird. <laughs> For Beast of Burden uh, and the Tireless Run Scrolls, which is now why I use it now, because if I have to do stacks of running anyway, they're kind of useful. Uh, Fire Titan, I used to use that uh, before kind of EOC and stuff like that. I like the, the special ability is kind of like using a super defense. So it's kind of handy and it does a bit of combat damage. Um, Bunyip, obviously, won't tell you why. And War Tortoise Cannon, pretty much redundant. The only reason I've kept it is four or five a gate of dags uh, and somebody crashes me 
slap that down and they soon run away. So that's kind of cool. Capes, um, don't really know why I keep this tab. I guess it's just sort of to make me feel better about my uh, half good account. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, my 99 ones, my farming cape is back in my other tab just because I use it all the time. And stupidly, farming cape, uh, skill capes are, are better than most other capes in the game, seemingly, which is a bit thick, but, well, this is Jagex we're talking about. Wicked stuff. Don't really know what's in there. Uh, then a few things that might interest people. So I have my veterans five-year cape, um, two bits of sea singer, nearly got the third. We'll talk about that in ports. And my 10-year vet cape. So, yes, I've had this account over 10 years. Uh, I Well, I, perhaps I'll do another ga uh, video on my sort of age in RuneScape and all that kind of stuff and how long I've been playing, but yes, I have had this account 10 years and as you might have seen earlier, I have a scythe. Um, they're the only old things I have really. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you about that another time. There's quite an amusing story about me and party hats. Um, Slayer tab, standard kind of affair. Any stuff that I want to keep and sell goes in here. Not really sure how much is in there at the moment. Probably a few mil but nothing loads. I'm probably going to sell this all at 90 Slayer and then do a Slayer tab from 90 to 95 or I'll just keep it to 95. Um, potions tab, so I try and keep this pretty clean. Uh, I go four dose, uh, sorry, six dose, five dose, four dose, three dose and then mix up the rest. Uh, so yeah, super attack, strength defense, just because I still don't have extremes or anything, blah, 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 the rest of them you can see. And this is my kind of uh, slightly more redundant skilling tab. So I have a load of stuff that I'm not really using, like woodcutting urns, smithing urns, bits of construction, bars, 2.7 added bars, because I've been killing uh, Aviancis for range. I don't know if that's how you pronounce them. Aviancis, Avancis, whatever they're called. Yeah, I've been killing those for range and a bit of money recently. Um, I really should have sold them a little while ago because they were actually at 4.1k and I think they're now down to 3.1 so good fight me but I might just actually keep them for smithing XP um I haven't decided yet it depends on the price really and then I've got a got a few uh pendants I've got to use up uh a few bits of sort of yeah like full artisans full botanists which will actually be quite useful um feathers for fishing a bit of black blacksmith uh, some prayer items those are quite useful actually that saved me quite a bit um when i was doing prayer and then some more pendants uh so yeah i think i will leave off there because that's just probably quite a long video for my first one and i might have bored you all to tears who knows so i look forward to uh hearing some comments from any of you um that would be really great and thank you for watching